Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Stadium Stampede. What a crazy show that we have seen here this evening. The chaos, the title changes, and it all comes down to this. We thought last month at Survivor Series when we had a new owner of WWE that that was going to be the biggest moment, the biggest change in WWE history. Well, it's going to go down here again because the landscape of WWE is going to change one more time. In the first ever stadium stampede match between Retribution and The Judgment Day. You're seeing members of The Judgment Day come to the ring. You just saw Rey Mysterio, Damian Priest. Now here comes Seth Rollins. A 16-person war. And the last team standing will survive. We've heard rumors. We've seen coffins and concrete crypts that have been going. We, we've heard that there's been the, uh, the hearse that's been backstage as well. A lot of chaos. So we don't know what all is going to go down in this one. We've seen retribution on their side. They've brought their tools, their chainsaws, their hacksaws, their things that they use to destroy the arenas, destroy the buildings. What's going to go down? And there you see it. We kind of talked about it throughout the broadcast, but if you guys didn't join us over on Patreon for Sunday Night Heat, yes, it went down, and Robert Roode struck first, winning the Intercontinental Championship from Kane on Sunday Night Heat. That is up on Patreon right now, patreon.com slash tbsports27. So we're going to see the Intercontinental Champion represented by the Judgment Day, the WWE Undisputed Champion, and the Women's Tag Team titles still in the camp of Retribution. And here comes Rhea Ripley, two of the newest members of the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley and Shotzi Blackheart. And they kind of had to prove themselves to prove that they should have been on this stadium stampede team. And they did that by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Natalia and Tamina, two of the best, one of the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. And they took out Natalia and Tamina in that steel cage match earlier this month. Rhea Ripley and here comes Shotzi. So you're going to see them going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the women's tag team champions mostly here in this one. But this entire stadium, I mean, it, it seats 50, 60, 70,000. How many you want to count? 80,000 here in Las Vegas for WWE Armageddon. And here comes one of the men that helped put the Judgment Day together. It was controversial that... He made his appearance at Halloween Havoc and helped Edge regain the Undisputed Championship. That championship now resides in the camp of retribution with Mustafa Ali. But he is the dead man. He is the Undertaker. And what is Undertaker going to do when there's no rules and no restrictions in Stadium Stampede? Like we mentioned on the Retribution side, they got their chainsaws, they got their weapons of destruction. On the Judgment Day side, Undertaker, we, we've heard the concrete crypt. We've heard that's been set backstage. We have heard that coffins have been located. We have heard of a hearse as well backstage that has been seen. What are all these things going to entail? You got to stay tuned, Stadium Stampede. Find out what all is going to go down here as The Undertaker sets a step into the ring. And we're going to have one final member. And there he is, the former undisputed champion. The man that has been fighting this battle, pretty much thrust into this battle ever since he defeated Roman Reigns at WrestleMania Backlash to win the undisputed championship. And that actually was probably one of the biggest moments of this battle between the Judgment Day and Retribution. Because if Edge, so quickly, one month after the unification of Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Retribution, if Edge had not won that championship so quickly, it could have been the beginning of the end for WWE. But Edge's win sent the Roman Reigns and Retribution relationship into a tailspin. 
and it's led to the situation we have now where Roman Reigns, you saw him and his his brand new tag team partner competing earlier this evening. I mean, it's that he's not even involved. Roman Reigns, who is such a big part of what retribution became, not even a part of this here in the end. So you saw Machine coming out a little bit ago and making their entrance together. These guys have been, from the very beginning, pretty tight. T-Bar, Mace, Slapjack. And the former Intercontinental Champion, the first member of Retribution to shed the mask, if you don't count Mustafa Ali, Kane. Going into this dark form, the darkest form, the unmasked Kane. But it didn't do him much good when he was defeated by Robert Roode on Sunday Night Heat by way of a Tombstone pile driver. That's right, Robert Roode hit the Tombstone pile driver on the big red machine Kane. Go check that out. It's up right now on our Patreon page, Sunday Night Heat. But here you're getting a look at Retaliation. Yes, the former Ember Moon now known as Retaliation, as a member of Retribution Reckoning, will soon to follow. And then we are going to see the leader of Retribution. First coming up, not with their uh, Women's Tag Team Championships, interestingly enough. Leaving those behind, Rude came out with his Intercontinental title. But you have to imagine that Mustafa Ali, and there he is, the man that is responsible for all of this. The WWE Undisputed Champion, now a two-time WWE Undisputed Champion. Step it in to chaos as a 16-person war is about to go down here in the first ever stadium stampede. In WWE history. And it is starting right now. If we get a shot at the ring. This has already begun. We got to get our cameras in place. Chaos has ensued. As Stadium Stampede. Has officially begun. There we go. So we got Ali jumping to the mix. We got Ali, Mace, T-Bar. Slapjack. Edge, Mysterio, Rollins. So an eight-person war. We got ladders that have been set up. Don't mind the briefcase at the top of the arena. <laughs> and uh, backstage, here we got Rhea Ripley and Reckoning. So it's already spread out here in Stadium Stampede. So we got eight men battling in the ring. We got Rhea Ripley and Reckoning backstage. Rhea Ripley with the shovel. Now this match ends when a member of the opposing team pinned or submitted... And the team will lose Stadium Stampede, Undertaker, and Kane right here by the announce table. And the Undertaker putting Kane right into those steel. And we are literally, we're not even 30 seconds underway in Stadium Stampede. The announce table has been exposed. We got battles backstage. We still got eight men battling inside the ring right now. You can't see it just to the side here. Maybe we get a shot of that in just a moment. But the Brothers of Destruction... Undertaker, Kane, going at it right now. Kane with the blow to the midsection of his brother, the Undertaker. Now we head back into the ring as T-Bar just goes flying right onto the former Undisputed Champion. We got a submission outside of the ring here. We got a submission, and Rey Mysterio, I don't know, did he tap out or not? I don't think he did. Referees, though, we're trying to get referees. We got several referees that have been appointed to this match that are spread out all over the stadium. A tough job that they're going to have. We got, we're got we going up on ladders right now in this one. We got Damian Priest. We got T-Bar. T-Bar heading up on the ladder. I think he was about to jump off that thing. We have Shotzi and Reckon or Retaliation. They are up. I don't know where they are. They're off like to the side of the uh, entranceway here in this stadium. And retaliation just with the gut buster to Shotzi Blackheart. We have a cover. No, we have a submission. There you see one of the referees has made an appearance. So this could be it. Stadium Stampede could come to an end right now. 
but Shotzi able to fight as we head backstage here in the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium. This beautiful new stadium in Vegas and up on some shipping crates here. Steel chair to the skull of Rhea Ripley backstage in the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium. Rhea Ripley hammering back onto shots. He picks up, or excuse me, that is Reckoning. And Reckoning goes face first into that equipment case. And the Undertaker right in front of us. Got to look away from the monitor. He's got steel steps and he just drives the steps repeatedly. Blows of the steel steps to his brother, the big red machine, Kane. And now Undertaker setting up. Oh, I think he was going to set up for a choke slam for a moment. Kane may have been able to dodge it a little bit. Wasn't able to lock that one in. And there you see Kane. I think that's exactly why Undertaker did not go for the choke slam in that moment. And we are up on the on the rampway now. The Intercontinental Champion. We got Seth Rollins, the Undisputed Champion. Mustafa Ali and Machine battling up on the rampway. I, I see Edge. He has gone into the crowd with a T-Bar and Mace have gone into the crowd. We have a cover by Rollins and the Undisputed Champion kicks out. So we got battles in the crowd. We got battles backstage. And Rude swinging neckbreaker onto Machine. Ali taking Rollins. Backbreaker to Seth Rollins. And back over to Shotzi and Retaliation. I, they have gone like into the bowels of the Vegas Raiders Stadium. I mean, this is a huge stadium. This has got to be near one of the end zones or the 50-yard line or something. We have a cover in the corner of the stadium. And a kick out by Shotzi. There's a couple of times that Reckoning. We got Reckoning backstage. But Retaliation has tried to put the three count or a submission onto Shotzi. But Shotzi has been able to fight out of it numerous times. Fighting back onto Retaliation. Back into the ring now. Undertaker and Kane have made their way into the ring. There you see Mace who has made his way back. I believe T-Bar and Edge fighting off into the crowd. Kane in here and the Undertaker sent to the outside of the ring by Mace. Boy, this is didn't we tell you this is going to be chaos right here in Stadium Stampede. Damian Priest cross body. I think a glancing blow onto Slapjack and Kane just throwing Rey Mysterio. Here's a cover. We got to get a shot because this could be it and Rey Mysterio either he kicked out or, or Undertaker made the save at Stadium Stampede Nearly came to an end right there. My God. We got, uh, we're heading back up to the rampway now. Man, what a job our production crew is doing. Keeping up with the action. Pinfall, the undisputed champion. Nearly getting the win for Retribution. Robert Roode. Oh, he's going to get some weapon or something. Where's he heading towards? We got, oh, Rollins with a kick right to the face. Maybe Rude just trying to bring a Machine down to the concrete, but Machine wanting to stay away, and Rollins flipping the Undisputed Champion up and over, and here we go. We got Rude and Machine down to the concrete. Keep your eye, because we've had several near pinfalls between Mustafa Ali and Seth Rollins, and we have a submission locked in onto the Undisputed Champ, but the Champion kicks out. We head backstage here of the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium, Allegiant Stadium here, and into the, it's like where vehicles come in, that metal grate that, that rolls up. It's a big metal folding door here, and Rhea Ripley and Reckoning, and they're by these uh, equipment cases, the, the, the circuit breakers. That can be very dangerous, you know, high voltage, that's coming through there. Not talking about Rage or Chaos or Matt Hardy, but but the Volts. And look at this. Reckoning with a metal pipe or, a, or a, I think it's a Singapore cane. Using that on Rhea Ripley. And this one, before these guys even realize it, it could come to an end backstage. There's the choke slam. Undertaker hitting the choke slam on his brother Kane on the outside of the ring. And for the second time this evening, Kane is going to suffer a tombstone pile driver. Robert Roode was the first man on Sunday Night Heat 
over on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash tvsports27, where Robert Roode won the Intercontinental Championship. So Kane twice, his head just driven right into the arena floor. Absolutely unreal. The Undertaker, no, and Kane. Kane fighting back. This, this form of Kane, the unmasked form of Kane that we're seeing here. But the Undertaker fighting. These guys, they're brothers. They've had so many wars. They know each other more than anyone else. And Undertaker now is going to suffer a choke slam right through the announce table right in front of us. This could be it. The Judgment Day ceased to exist. No. Kane cannot get the three count on his brother. There you see Edge. Mace and Edge are battling in, in the crowd. Another corner of the stadium here. We got tables. We have chairs. We have ball bats. We got battles up on the rampway. We got fights going on backstage. Fights by the announce table. A cover by Mace and Edge just gets the shoulder up. My God, can you imagine if Edge would have lost the Undisputed Championship and then lost Stadium Stampede after everything that he has fought for here up to this point? Judgment Day, Retribution. We head back to the uh, rampway because we have a cover. The referee, though, uh, he's checking on the submission by Mustafa Ali. No, we, there's the referee. So we got one referee down there. I think we got one referee up with... Mustafa Ali and Seth Rollins. Now Robert Roode, he's heading backstage. Robert Roode is heading backstage, maybe going to uh, help out Rhea Ripley because I think she might be getting ready to suffer a three count. Meanwhile, Shotzi again. Boy, how about the resilience of Shotzi? She has been down for the count on a number of occasions here in this stadium stampede. She has continued to fight back out of it. Now just behind the, uh, the set here. And my God. That was right on the concrete, but Edge up on an equipment case in the crowd. Hits the crossbody onto Mace, onto the steel chair. Referee coming over. I told you we got referees spread out. I think we assigned five referees to this matchup. Probably needed more than that, but we only got so much on Kevin Owens' payroll. The baseball bat coming into a mix, and it's going to be Mace that's going to fight back onto Edge tables and edge what a shot to the midsection here has mace meanwhile there's machine and seth rollins they are backstage i don't know where i mean this is a a gigantic stadium brand new stadium in las vegas and so there's multiple levels i mean you guys have been to stadiums but there's multiple levels they have gone to a, a high up level here just before this this exit door this could be a dangerous situation. I mean, we saw what happened to Big E last uh, month at Survivor Series. Rollins and Machine. And there is Rude. So we saw Robert Rude head backstage. Rude and the undisputed champion, Mustafa Ali. They are uh, near, I think, just near the locker room area here. So this is getting wild now. So how many? We got, what, six? Six people backstage? I think Rude and Rude and Ali might be heading back towards the the locker room area. Maybe get a, a drink of some SmackDown soda or something. Rude hammered back. Edge. Meanwhile, don't forget about this in the crowd. Edge power bomb onto Mace through the table. Edge probably go for the cover here. I don't know if there's a referee nearby. There is a referee. Edge to put. An end to retribution not going to happen as Mace kicks out at a count of two. My God. Uh, there you see, we have seen Rhea Ripley and Reckoning who have made their way back into the arena from backstage. Meanwhile, Shotzi and Retaliation still going at it. It's Retaliation and Rhea Ripley. Retaliation with the cover. And Rhea Ripley who has been roughed up here. In this one, compliments of Reckoning, able to power out and survive. What do you guys think of Stadium Stampede so far? This is, is this lived up to the hype or what? This is exactly the chaos that we were expecting in this matchup here. Back into the, I don't know, we're at like the 200 or 300 level of the stadium here 
in Las Vegas. Submission locked in. This could end it. This could end Stadium Stampede right now. Seth Rollins cannot hang on, and he does. I don't know if we have any referees backstage. I think we got one that may be dealing with uh, Robert Roode and our champion, Mustafa Ali. So maybe could make that call here as Rollins is throwing machine right into those that, I don't know, metal fencing or that piping that's trying to keep... Oh, my God. God, and Machine nearly toppled 20 feet from the top all the way to the floor. Oh, my God. That would have been three stories up. And Rollins trying to hang on. This, I mean, this, we knew that this was going to be dangerous. We knew it was going to be chaos. We're getting to a really dangerous point as this matchup continues on. Edge and Mace continuing their brawl in the crowd here. Kane and The Undertaker still going at it around ringside area. Uh, T-Bar has made his way. He just took a couple of shots at The Undertaker. But we're focused on Edge and, and Mace who are in the crowd here of the stadium. A couple of blows and Robert Roode. Ali coming down now into this, this kind of this pit area of the backstage. Amongst the concrete. So you're getting to see the undisputed champion and the intercontinental champion right now going at it. It's pretty wild. Rude. Nice forearm blow to send the undisputed champion to the floor. How fitting would it be if Robert Rude on the night when he wins the intercontinental title could come in and defeat the undisputed champion and put an end to retribution. There you see... T-Bar, T-Bar and Damian Priest who are battling somewhere near this like Armageddon video board. I don't know where they are in the stadium. They got to be deep within the crowd. Just a moment ago, T-Bar took a couple of shots at The Undertaker, but Priest and T-Bar going at it here. A couple of back elbows from Damian Priest and Priest. Oh, what a shot to the mid and another shot. To the midsection, sending down T-Bar. Damian Priest, who had been on an absolute tear since joining with the Judgment Day. We saw him get beaten by Mustafa Ali. Ali been tearing through the competition since he's won the Undisputed Championship. Back up to the entrance way here of Legion Stadium. And double underhook on Rhea Ripley. And I think, I don't know if, if Shotzi, if that, that kind of head scissors broke that one up or what. Shotzi's going to go for the cover, though. And Reckoning powering out before the referee can even get into position. Man, I, as long as this has been going on, here's a cover. One. I think we're, we're still a long way from this one being over. Hockey stick now getting brought in. We have blood for the first time in Stadium Stampede. You can see level one. Where these guys are, Seth Rollins and Machine, they're up on like level three. We're going to have to check on them because they're really high up. And they're getting dangerously close to falling all the way from level three to level one. Meanwhile, near the elevators, I don't know if we're going to see someone pop out of these elevators or what. But we got Robert Roode, Intercontinental Champion. And there you see, there is Rollins and Machine and... Well, they have come down a little bit. They're still up pretty high, though. And oh, my God. Machine and Rollins. 25 feet up from level three all the way down to level one to end Stadium Stampede. And Machine powers out and kicks out. Are you, ki are you kidding me right now? There's glass. There's glass. You got to be careful one of these guys doesn't go through this glass. I don't know how Machine's still going. I don't know how Rollins is still going. You guys, you, you've been to stadiums. You guys know level three, how high up that is. And those guys just fell from level three to level one. Meanwhile, T-Bar into a cover on Damian Priest. And Priest, th these are making me nervous now. These kickouts where... Edge and Priest are just rolling the shoulder. They don't even have the power to kick out. It's it's getting pretty dangerous right now where 
Retribution might pull this thing off and you know where does Kevin Owens go from there in dealing with Retribution meanwhile Priest dragon screwed leg whip onto T-Bar shot to the midsection repeated blows here and Shotzi just crushing reckoning oh my god that's a vicious blow to the back of the head of Rhea Ripley Rhea Ripley has taken an absolute beating in this matchup but has not it's not wavered a moment she has not folded continuing to take and Rhea Ripley there we go Rhea Ripley big boot Shotzi had a cover for a moment. I think Reckoning may have powered out or something here. Nice rolling elbow, knee to the face as we're backstage and through the table. Mustafa Ali putting Robert Roode through the table onto the concrete. Oh my God. Now where's he taking him? It's a right there. That's about a 10 foot drop. You can see the caution tape. Oh! A spine buster on the concrete. And now the hockey stick. Uh, K- Team Canada days. You guys remember Robert Roode and Eric Young from Team Canada were oftentimes using those hockey sticks. Ask AMW. Go back to those early 2000s. My God, this is just repeated blows with the hockey stick. Team Canada. Robert Roode and Ali, just no choice. Just has to break free from that vicious attack of, wait a minute, oh, oh! From 10 feet, thrown 10 feet from the top all the way through the table into those steel chairs. Rey Mysterio and Slapjack are out in the parking lot, guys. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Mysterio, knee to the back. They, Rey Mysterio is on the top of somebody's vehicle. And he thought better of it. No, he's going to try it again. Mysterio. Oh, crossbody. From the top of a vehicle onto Slapjack in the parking lot. And now a standing moonsault. I don't even see a referee out there. I told you we had about five referees assigned to this match, all spread out. And now Robert Roode has made his way back into the arena to confront Machine. So Rude and Machine have come from backstage. They're now back into the arena. That means Rollins and uh, Mustafa Ali have probably come together somewhere in the backstage area. I don't know how Rude is still up and standing after getting thrown 10 feet through that table. But we just saw Machine get thrown from level 3 down to level 1. Oh my, wait, meanwhile, what is, what the... Undertaker just got thrown. Edge just put Mustafa Ali through a table. You see Ali and Rollins have made their way back into the arena. I mean, we barely cut back to the arena. And there was just bodies being thrown everywhere. Unbelievable. Where is Kane at? Kane has gone somewhere. A cover in the ring. T-Bar. Oh, and Rollins just kicking out. Meanwhile, Edge and Mustafa Ali, the, I mean, a rivalry that's been born here in TV Sports Universe mode over the Undisputed Championship. We head back to the parking lot where Mysterio has a stop sign and is working over Slapjack. Who's got the edge in this one? Who is going to pull this one off? They're getting close to the, I mean, that parking sign. There you can see staff stadium parking. We are in a stadium. We have seen every inch of the stadium. Stop sign off the skull of Rey Mysterio. Back to the arena. Rollins. A stardust splash. Onto T-Bar. Table. Another table being set up. Mace with a suplex onto the Undertaker. Edge with the table, setting it up, and, and Rollins trying to put the uh, put the defense up, but he gets hit with a moonsault off the ropes by T-Bar. Now Edge says, I'm tired of dealing with this table. I'm going to put it inside the ring. Blows here to T-Bar. 
Kind of a downward spiral type of maneuver. Go for the cover edge. I think we just had a two count up in the crowd between the Intercontinental Champion Robert Roode and Machine. Steel chair into the mix. Roode is able to roll out of it. He's got a face full of blood. We got, what, three chairs here in this concrete area of the crowd right into the, the chairs. Robert Roode throwing Machine into the chairs, and we got a cover. Robert Roode with the cover. And just a two-count machine powers out. Oh, my God. Tie up here. Rude. Nope. Machine trying to go for that DDT on the concrete, on the steel chairs, and Robert Roode hits the clothesline onto Machine as we head back into the ringside area. We still got Ripley and Shotzi and Retaliation and Reckoning up on the rampway fighting. Undertaker... Just put Mace right through the table. Mace through the table. Undertaker with the DDT. Mace might be done here. Edge, where's Edge going? Edge climbing up. What is Edge thinking right now? Edge is at the top. And he just jumps off with a diving headbutt. Connecting with Mace. That was, that was crazy. And even deeper into the crowd now go Robert Roode and Machine. These fans, I don't know if they expected this, that they were going to get a, a front row seat that we're getting, but they're getting it. Unbe oh my God. How about the little uh, Luthez press? A little Stone Cold Steve Austin there from Machine. Rude and what is going on right now in this ring? Oh, what in the hell is happening? The ring has just burst into flames. Mysterio and Slapjack are, I mean, we're going to need some more of those EMS units pulling up here. There's no doubt about this. We're, I'm sitting ringside right now. Undertaker and Kane are fighting in a ring full of flames. All right, look at this. The ring has been set on fire on Stadium Stampede. DDT as the flames just, just fly into the sky here in this stadium. Thank God we're in this big stadium. Undertaker, oh, Undertaker is about to throw his brother into those flames. How did this, I mean, under we saw, I guess, the Undertaker's dark magic at Halloween Havoc. Undertaker just, from the depths of his being, just bringing these flames. Seth Rollins and Ali, they're, they're fighting away from the ring. Oh, Undertaker, oh my God, thank God. The flames have dropped down here. You're seeing, a, I guess, on screen here from our production team, the temperatures that we're having. Back into the parking lot, Mysterio and Slapjack continuing their fight. We have the ring that is literally in flames right now. This is this is unreal. This is any unlike anything that's ever been seen in WWE and AEW and any company. This stadium stampede. And if this is truly the end of either Retribution or the Judgment Day, what a fitting end as these flames have now reached a, a, a 500 degree peak as Undertaker nearly thrown into the flames by Kane. I mean, this ring is just shaking right now. The entire ringside area, you can see the apron. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kane, Kane trying to fight. Undertaker, as the flames come down a little bit. Big DDT. You can feel the temperature, the heat. It's an open-air stadium. But the heat of this ring is just un absolutely unreal right now. Absolutely unreal. The Undertaker, for the second time in this matchup, hits a tombstone on his brother. As the ring explodes into flames. 
Las Vegas Raiders Stadium will never be the same again after Stadium Stampede. The Undertaker has thrown his brother into the flames. The Kane is on fire right now in Stadium Stampede. Thank God somebody, Kevin Owens sending somebody to put Kane out. A man has been set on fire in the middle of Stadium Stampede. This has gotten completely out of control. We got to put some fire extinguishers on this ring. Oh my God, this war. I mean, this has been going on for the last 15 minutes or so up on the rampway. Who is going to prevail? We, the fire extinguishers are being taken right now to the ring. Thank God. The ring is being put out. I mean, this is Armageddon. You can see the flames, part of the graphics, part of the set. We did not expect what we just saw. Cover! Oh my God. We did not expect what we just saw. Kane is in a bad way. Rhea Ripley might end. Rhea Ripley, I believe, was going to end Stadium Stampede right there, if not for Reckoning coming in. And now we see Edge. We have a flaming table that Mustafa Ali has just been put face first into the flaming table. Kane has been burned. Ali has been burned. What is happening right now? Edge with a drop kick. We have T-Bar and Priest that have battled back up towards the rampway where they were just a little bit ago. We have a flaming table in the ring. T-Bar and Priest. And now we have Shotzi and Retaliation who have battled now back, back off to the, this concrete area. And this gut wrench, gut wrench gut buster. Yeah, we got to keep it on the ring right now. I know this can end anywhere, but we have we have more fire. We have more fire. And no. An execution through the flaming table onto the undisputed champion. What else is going to happen in this match? Go for the cover, Edge. Go for the cover. We still have action in the parking lot. That stop sign. Well, there's the stop by Mysterio. Cracking off of the head of Slapjack. Edge and Ali battling it out in the ring into another car. I mean, cars have been used. Fire has been used. And Edge is going to lock in a sharpshooter onto Mustafa Ali after the execution through the flaming table. If Ali gives up, he'll be ending Retribution. There is nobody near ringside area. Kane's been taken out. Ali. Ali has just given up. Mustafa Ali has given up. Stadium Stampede has come to an end. The Judgment Day wins. And I think Mustafa Ali may have just given up. He may have just given up retribution. He tapped out. Not only ending this match, but ending retribution. And, and guys, coming out, look at this. Undertaker, we've seen Kane set on fire. The concrete crypt has been brought out. And Mace has been thrown in. With the concrete rising to the top. T-Bar has been thrown into the Hearst backstage, driven away. What is happening right now? A lightning bolt has just struck. There is a buried alive burial up at the ringside area that Machine has just been thrown into. Dirt has been piled up on Machine. T-Bar is out. Mace is out. Machine is out. A coffin, two caskets being brought that Reckoning and Retaliation are being tossed in. And these are all of The Undertaker's greatest finales. Backstage, Rey Mysterio has a body bag. He just puts Slapjack in the body bag. 
This is unreal. There's a biker chain that's being used right now on Mustafa Ali. The biker chain being used. And The Undertaker choke slamming Mustafa Ali. And he goes right through the ring. Ali goes right through the ring. Flames bursting from below the surface. Kane is on fire. Ali has been sent straight to hell. T-Bar is in the hearse. Mace in the concrete crypt. Machine has been buried alive. Rhea and Shotzi have put retaliation and reckoning in a coffin, in a casket. And The Undertaker is saying that they're all going to the boneyard. I think we've just seen the end of retribution here tonight. The question remains, what happens to the undisputed championship? What happens to the women's tag team championships? Did we just see retribution die tonight? My God, you guys don't want to miss Monday Night Raw. Judgment Day defeats Retribution in Stadium Stampede.